yourselves when you deal with the... Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at the Intel booth, and uh, this is SC11, and we're here with Noah Clemens, who's going to tell us about auto vectorization tools. Is that, did I get yeah. that right? So there's a couple different ways to vectorize. First, you can generate, you can write your own SIMD code, or you can have the compiler auto vectorize for you. In this booth, we're talking about productive ways to give the compiler more information to generate better SIMD code for you. And if you look at the architecture that we're running on today, Sandy Bridge EP with two processors on one board. You think about that, okay, you've got 16 cores, four-way SIMD. That's a lot of parallelism to take advantage of that normally would take a long time to handwrite yourself. And so with the Silk Plus array notations here, this colon bracket style syntax allows you to give the compiler more information that it can that it normally would have done in auto with auto vectorization to generate good AVX code in this situation. So this colon bracket style syntax, albeit simplistic, gives the compiler a wealth of information to generate excellent speedups on one core. So that brings to mind, all right, if this is just generating vectorization for one core, how do I cascade that over to many to multi-core in this case, or then the many core in the case of many core integrated architecture? So you can use the Silk Plus threading keywords in order to carry the vectorization from this array notations over to the 16 cores that we're doing for this demo. And then that brings the question of how would we run this on, say, Knight's Corner? We have very simple offload keywords that you'd use in conjunction with the Silk Plus keywords here in order to carry that vectorization over to the 50 plus cores involved in Knight's Corner. So in this example here, we will run a serial implementation, a vectorized but not threaded implementation, one threaded implementation, and one vectorized plus threaded. So you can guess with four-way SIMD and 16 cores that the threaded and vectorized implementation is going to be a great deal faster than serial. Um, so let's take a look. So number of processors here, 32. So we've got 16 cores with hyper-threading, so we have 32 logical cores here on new Sandy Bridge EP. So we run here, serial implementation. Okay. Pretty slow. One frame a second, maybe? Yeah. Array notation, so that's vectorized but not threaded. This is threaded but not vectorized, and then vectorized plus threaded. So most people see this and then they go, wow, these are much, much faster. So let's run it one more time so you can actually see exactly how much more faster you're getting um, with a vectorized and threaded implementation. Now notice that we didn't write any low-level code to do vectorization or threading for this. We just used Silk Plus, Silk Spawn, and Silk Sync, and used this array notation in, inside of there to cascade that vectorization to all 16 cores. So we'll run one more time. So you can only use it after six months. So again, 32 logical cores. Serial implementation. Vectorized, but not threaded. Threaded, and then vectorized plus threaded. Mm. And, and pretty painless to put that together. Yeah, it's, it's a much easier way to code for parallel where you're thinking about uh, what to do, not necessarily how to do it. And this will adapt to whatever architecture you, you compile this to. Yeah. So if you put this on an older architecture, simple recompile and it will generate SSE for you. You want to run on a processor that comes out a year from now, simple recompile will generate whatever the next SIMD instruction sets that are coming out. So no heavy lifting there either, don't yeah. around on yeah, your the, hardware platform. Yeah. The key is to blend productivity and performance all wrapped up into one, um, to where we have options for experts, but not everyone here is an expert.